going back in Anchorhead Raid. We're going back in Anchorhead Raid for a very specific reason. Sounds like I need to smoke. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 we've seen that. Um, uh, there are probably going to be a couple extra videos of me just fucking around with these uh, missions. Uh, I messed with the uh, mess around in Unexpected Visitor, and now I'm just going to blow shit up. We're just going to blow shit up, and we're going to do it in the Falcon. Because Ace Combat 5 is better. Okay, fuel air bombs, select parts. Uh, do 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh, what special weapons do we have, out of curiosity? Do we have, do we have qualms? No, we have four hands. And the laser. We've got the laser cannon. Uh, the, the useless-ass laser cannon. Oh, we'll stick with that. Uh, select parts. Hardpoint expansion. Yes. Uh, we got some like long range enhanced shells. Yes. Uh, blonde, blast range, lock on range, bomb power. There we go. Yes. Is that the skin? Uh, let's see, Ruzi skin. Is that the. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, what's, a, what's a good emblem to go with this? Uh, might be a bit later. I'm coming up on the. Uh, I'm coming up on time right now, so. That, those missions took a bit longer than I thought they would, especially the second one, so. Right now, I am just going to screw around in this mission and cause massive giant explosions to blow off steam. So, if massive giant explosions interest you, Proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. Stick around. Also, this plane is pure bullshit, and I love it. Even if it has, like, no flares. It's like two... I can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin All right. The food at this party is served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. Wilco, I'll eat their hearts out. Sorry, Trigger. Aegis of Sword goes first. Are all mine. Emergency! Four bogeys! ETA two minutes! We're already here. Damage report. Nice trigger. There's no enemy movement yet. Gobble up all the high-value targets. Forget about your manners. All right, where's my artisanal burgers? Had to stay behind last time. This is gonna be a walk in the park. It's a good warm Damage is that Aegis take shit. About three strikes. You sure we get a positive result this time? Yes, Lieutenant General Shepard. Operation Dominoes is going as planned. Fight. 
Well, looks like it's gonna be the three of us. Ready, count to trigger? You betcha. Not a single ship's gonna leave the port. Resistance from enemy air defense is confirmed. Keep on guiding. Just don't wait for it. Righto! Begin firing Sam! They have nothing on that battle cruiser anymore. It is literally just the boat. This is little damage. Seriously? Half of the anti-air guns destroyed. Target destroyed. Thirty percent of observed enemy forces destroyed. Great. Keep it up. We ain't done eating yet. Should need that right trigger. Let me angle that up. Maybe, possibly, who knows? Resupply before we go over there. Maintain course to return for resupply. Four MiG 31s approaching. They're fast. <clears throat> Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Make your landing check. You've already seen this. Yep. Not done exploding things. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Seen it. 
Four Nick 31s approaching. They're fast. These guys are interceptors. <laughs> like I care. Altitude 2000. Look at how fast I'm going, Longcaster. Do I look like I care about a MiG-31? Fucking warp speed. I want a piece of all of that. I am going faster than that missile could ever dream of go of going. I am fine. <laughs> Hostile ships approaching from the southeast. It's a large fleet with Aegis vessel Metis and battleship Dysnomia numbering among them. We have to fight a pristine fleet? After all that? Let's do this. Bridge to CIC. Multiple smoke probes from the port. Under the bad weather, we would be caught there. Prepare for anti-air combat. Parker drone has reached the target. Captain, we're starting the guided artillery fire drill. Command to the officer. What do you think will turn a drill into a real war? You don't see it, do you? It's imagination. To use your imagination like fellow submariners, a single shell will save 10 million lives. Begin drill. Ready for anti-air combat. I will now explode you repeatedly. Oh, that actually hit me. Holy shit. Cover. 
I don't know what the fuck they build battle cruisers out of in these combat, but that one refuses to die. Sir, I need you to explode. Contact imminent. Trigger just sank a battleship. Battleship to throw me as crippled. Navigation is safe. Whoa. In a second. All hostile ships in the vicinity have been destroyed. Taking on this much naval power is an astonishing feat. Tucker zero four to Longcaster. We need you to attack the designated. Strider one. This is All right. Control Let's switch over to something else. That'll be it. Detecting shell in flight. Ten seconds to contact. <laughs> Impact now. Damn coward, shooting us from beyond our range. Good. We produced enough of the enemy forces. Job well done. That primary and trouble suit sure were good. But hold on, lunch time's not over yet. Grab some desserts. Yeah, that missile's far fast away. There it is. Target confirmed down. Captain Alonso Terrago gone. He just missile Velasa won't be much of a threat. Seconds to contact. Picturing. Contact imminent. <laughs> Strider one, missile launched. Maintain course to return missile. for resupply. Missile. Missile. <laughs> missile. 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 Evade. I am evading by going really, really fast. You know what? Let's let us let us actually get a little stupid. Let's get dumb. Let's get dumb for this. Strider one, this is control tower. Ten seconds to contact. Contact imminent. We're fine, Longcaster. Well done. We've managed to hit the Erosion Navy's fleet and command structure pretty hard. <laughs> that was definitely a free lunch if there ever was one. Mission complete. Return to base. Withdraw from the Operation Airspace. You completed the mission, but it's not done until you return home. <laughs> Arrogant bastard. Stand by. Warning. 
Two bogeys inbound. Nom. Zero nine zero. Nom. SU 47s. Water missile behind you. Nom. Water. Strider three is hit. Good. Now we have less goons to deal with. Do it, scream. Yeah. That's the stand bats. Engaged to let Strider three escape. We're calling off the patrol. Both of you, watch out for their missiles. The missile alert didn't go off in time. It hit me as soon as I heard it. It may be that the enemy's missiles have stealth capabilities. Their missiles may hit you immediately after your missile alert goes off. So that's the trick. Calling out to unidentified aircraft. Seize combat immediately and withdraw. Brigadier General Clements is radioing enemy aircraft on OC channels. Too late. Trigger's already started. I repeat, withdraw. Don't want anyone thinking we screwed up. Three strikes is going down. They're responding. You got me, idiot. Mr. Chekhov, stand by on phasers. Siblings can go to hell together. Brother and sister? Firing. God damn it! Band it on your six. Missile closing. Break, break! Fire! Detecting powerful ECM. Don't let him trick you. I have you down. Ah, I missed. Good, you're on their six. It's two on two, Trigger. We can't lose. Sorry? That's you can't. It's two on one. <laughs> Um, no, I'm gonna leave her here. Playing this so Plane is so overpowered it can punch the earth. Enemy shell detected. Ten seconds to contact. That's a lot of missiles. Oh shit! I think he might be wanting to kill me now.
lost his mind. He would have had to have had one first. There may only be one left, but don't let your guard down. Let's finish this once and for all, Trigger. How dare you? I'll kill you. Locked on. She was my one and only. Oh shit. Suck at it. No room for hesitation, Trigger. We've thrown through much worse than this. Target hit. Target hit. I can tell. I know you're with me. I should note that I'm fairly garbage with the laser cannon. I just took all that to the face, and I'm still here. This plane is absolute bullshit. Let's actually try and dodge that, yep. <laughs> I will laser you. I'm gonna laser the fuck out of you, just hold still. You may be thinking, my, he's been hit by a lot of missiles, and you're correct, I have been. And now he is shooting me, because the missiles don't seem to be doing anything. Let's change things up with bullets. It's just a fucking forever jet with a laser cannon. Woo! I've been directly hit by a few missile longcaster. Please catch up. Yes, Rage, I am in a plane that is as bullshit as yours. I could literally do this all day.
The laser is straight up garbage in this game, though. It is nowhere near as good as it was when it was introduced. Which was, I think, five? It's come at five? There we go. Fucking Hammer of Dawn! Please get to that. Aircraft. Eject. Numb. Numb. Eject now. Numb. I Numb. I eat you. I eat you with my lasers. The bat's blimp has disappeared from our radar. At that altitude, it likely has crashed. Serves them right. <sighs> yes. The problem has been eliminated. This is a radar signature nightmare. It's nothing but large pointy objects sticking out of the plane. And I gotta see anyways. Yeah, the missile just poofs back into his existence. Do not come to Ace Combat. The, the, especially the people on Steam who downvoted this game to Oblivion uh, because it wasn't simulation enough for you. That is not the point of Ace Combat. You have missed the point of this exercise. The point of this game is batshit insanity with jets. Hey, it's not supposed to be like exactly like a, sim a simulator. Oh. Ace Combat is for fun. Yes, it is. And now it's time to put it to bed, because holy shit. My neck still hurts from that mission. Like, I was literally just sitting in the same position, all, like, completely tense throughout that entire mission, and my neck still hurts. The difference between Need for Speed and Gran Turismo. Exactly.
So yeah, uh, I've been streaming for about two hours now. I think that's going to do me. Uh, that is... still get slightly motion sick. Something I've noticed is... Because I've had people, like, uh, walk by and say that their stomachs are, like, turning inside out watching me play this game. Uh, something I've noticed, if you are the one playing the game... Like, this game doesn't make me motion sick, unless you're talking about Assault Horizon, in which case, Assault Horizon makes everybody motion sick because it's awful. Because um, it's, like, zoomed in super close on the back of the jet, and the camera is always constantly shaking and stuff. They tried to make Ace Combat Call of Duty with that game. So, just imagine, like, a like constant shaky cam. It, it's... It, it, it's so disorienting. Like, even people who have no problem playing... Uh, Flight Sims get really motion sick with that game, but uh, yeah, like, je like generally, if if you're the one playing the game, it's absolutely fine, is what I've noticed. Yeah, I could not play Assault Horizon. Assault Horizon, I I would start to feel like I was get I would need to throw up because Assault Horizons, the way they've set that game up is bad. It's got good idea. It's got a few good ideas, but all of them are done really badly. <laughs> like uh, uh, Assault Horizon has you flying like uh, like uh, attack helicopters, spookies and shit. It's got some interesting stuff, but but it's just dumb, and it's not strange real. Which, at the end of the day, is part is part of the fun. Is like is this like weird fantasy planet that the uh, most of the Ace Combat games are set on, and how absolutely crazy it is. So this game leans really heavily on the space elevator, and it leans really heavily on like going to space. So, what I think that... Either the next Ace Combat game is going to be set in space, or... I don't know. That could be interesting. Like Ace Combat on another planet. Like Ace, Co like Ace Combat on Mars, or something. Or some shit like that. Ace Combat Mars. Um, but... Uh, they've already done Low Earth Orbit in Ace Combat 3. There's a mission where you are launched in a... Uh, they have like a, they have suborbital fighters that have a limited operational time. And you get sent into orbit and you have to uh, take out like uh, some rival corporation satellites uh, like in orbit. And it's actually modeled after, like, zero-g Newtonian physics, so you have to, like, thrust and counter-thrust, and you have to be wary of uh, how fast you're going and how much fuel you have. So they actually do the suborbital thing, or the, the low-Earth orbit thing, in uh, Ace Combat 3 on the PS1. Or at least the Japanese version of Ace Combat 3, not the U.S. version. Uh, there is a fan translation of the Japanese version, so if you can get your hands on that, play it with the fan translation. It's far, far better than the dumbass version we got over in America. But, yeah, Ace Combat 3 is set after this. Ace Combat 3 is like 10 years after this. And uh, this game very much sets up Ace Combat 3, because uh, the space elevator from this game is a thing in Ace Combat 3, and the, the, the settlement the refugees are making has evolved into uh, what's called the Geofront uh, in Ace Combat 3. Uh, what story arc am I in, in Star Trek Online? Uh, right now, I am going to be working on the Breen arc. Uh, not right now, because I'm, I'm going to stream over for like two hours, man. But uh, the Breen arc is next. But as for Ace Combat 7, 
Uh, technically, everything after three has been a prequel. Uh, Ace, Ace Com they made Ace Combat 3, which is set, I think, 2030s. And then they went to Ace Combat 4, which is set in the 90s. Uh, and then 5, 0, which is a prequel to 5. Uh, Ace Combat 6 and 7. Like, everything else has been a prequel leading up to 3. Uh, Ace Combat X uh, is the next game chronologically. Uh, Skies of Deception. I think that's a PSP game, though. Uh, never played any Ace Combat. I would highly recommend starting with Ace Combat 4 or 5, because those are probably going to be the uh, the more easygoing ones. If you've never played Ace Combat, the mechanics don't change that much between games. Uh, most of the new mechanics in Ace Combat 7 controls-wise came from Ace Combat 6. I uh, think Ace Combat 8 will be another prequel or set after 3. I honestly do not know. Uh, Ace Combat 7 is sort of a direct sequel to 5. You could skip Ace Combat 6 and not miss anything, as far as like the story of the setting goes. Uh, yeah, Assault Horizon. You can skip, easily skip Assault Horizon, because it's set... It's set in a in a real world quotation mark setting, and it's just not very good. It's not set in it. You, it won't like for, it doesn't further the main story the story of the main games of like strange reality shit. There is a game though uh, called I think it's a 3DS game called Assault Horizon Legacy, which is a remake of Ace Combat Two, and it is set in strange reality. Uh, the last sale, I think Ace Combat 7 was pretty cheap. But yeah, Ace Combat 7 is hard. Like, Ace Combat 7 is the hardest one I have played. Like, like, jumping into Ace Combat 7 first is kind of like jumping in... You're jumping in the deep end, because this game is real hard <laughs> compared to the others. Like, you, like uh, Ace Combat 4, you are not going to be hearing Missile, like, every two seconds. 4 and 5 are PS2 games. Uh, 4, 5, and 0 were on the PS2. Uh, Zero is basically a prequel to Five, and they have like they have like a two-way save thing going on where you ha if you have like a if you did certain things in Zero and loaded that save into Five, you'd unlock a super plane, and the opposite was true for Zero. Uh, uh, Zero is important for the Ace Combat storyline. It's a, it's basically the first. True to its name, it's basically the first entry in it. Um, because it sets up basically all of the bullshit that follows. Belka! Damn you, Belka. Uh, Ace Combat 6 and Assault Horizon were on the, uh... Yeah, War Crimes. Trademark. Uh, Ace Combat 6 and Assault Horizon were on the 360 and the PS3. You can skip Ace Combat 6 easily. Ace Combat 6 is pretty short. I I think Ace Combat 6 is great, but it's also, you can easily just sort of like skip it. Because it, it doesn't really do anything. Um... Honestly, Ace Combat 6 is almost basically a retread of Ace Combat 4 and 5 sort of smashed together. But for the 360. And most of the DLC for it, you can't get anymore.
Yeah, so you can't get the your anime meme planes, unfortunately. You can't you can't unlock your idol master, your favorite idol master waifu, uh, plane skin. Wonder if there's a gold version that has it all on disc? Eh, no. It was all downloadable. No idol master for you. All right. Time to call it. If, for those who have been watching on YouTube or Twitch, thank you for joining us. My neck hurts like a bitch right now. I'm going to go put some mics on it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.